all joking aside. Granny likes to joke, but let's be serious. It's a Sunday, okay? So, how are you? Who are you? On Sunday, Granny gets to be herself and not too serious on Sundays. No, on other days, she's not too serious, okay? But on Sundays, she would like to express you know, more serious things other than, other than eating food. And as usual, I ask you, how are you? But today, I'd like to ask you, who are you? Who am I? I don't even know sometimes. <laughs> who are you? Who am I? And that's the question that I would like to help you answer. And I'd like to get some answers too, right? Do you ever wonder, who am I? I mean, it sounds like a silly question, right? But we can all wonder at times, especially, you know, when we go through difficult times. We may wonder, who am I? Why am I on this earth? You know, what's my purpose? And we may be discouraged at times, we may be upset, we may be overwhelmed because we hold many titles. There's not a single person that's watching right now that has only one title to their name. And it's like, you know, the, the saying uh, of wearing many hats. And I have many hats. Having so many titles in life you know, and some people, you know, they do many things, and so they're gifted in many things, and so they're called jack of all trades, right? Because they're talented in many things. And we all strive to be talented in everything, right? We want to, but not everyone's gonna be that. And we wear many hats. And the many hats that we wear, you know, the minute that you're born into this earth, into the world, you're a daughter or a son. That's a hat. When you're older, you go to school. You're a student. That's a hat. Then you get married and you become a wife or a husband. That's another hat. And then you have kids. So you're either a mother or a father another hat and then you get a job and or I hope you have a job before you have a family you have a job so you're an employee or you have a business you're an employer that's another hat student teacher doctor nurses whatever your title is you're juggling all these hats fourth of July already passed but you think this granny is gonna let it go to waste and so we're juggling all these many hats. And sometimes we get overwhelmed. I sometimes get overwhelmed. Because every second of the day, every minute of the day, you're wearing some kind of hat. For me, this granny, she has many hats too, more than these four. First of all, I'm a daughter. The minute I was born, I'm, I'm wearing the daughter hat. And then as I got older, I went to school. I was a student, so I did all that. So that's in the past. But I'm a student in life. I learn from younger people, older people. I'm willing to learn because you can never stop learning. You're never too old to learn. And so I got older, I got married, so I'm a wife. And then I had kids, so then I became a mother. And right now, I'm a mother slash caretaker. I'm an employee because I have a job. I'm a friend, I'm a wannabe musician, you know, I'm not a pro, but I like to play instruments. I don't, you know, I don't have a good instrument voice, but I like to play instruments, especially worship songs. So we can't do that now, but you know, before when we were at church and we would just sit and just jam, you know, I love to jam, just playing and singing and no one's watching. So, you know, our group 
and I taught all my, you know, I taught my kids and some kids at church to play instruments, and we would just jam, you know. I love that. I want to do that again because you get blessed so much when you're not performing for somebody, but you just, you're just, you know, worshiping. What else is there? And I also, you know, up until a few years ago, I volunteered at our church. Uh, we had we had an after school program for girls and boys on Fridays. They would come in. We would feed them. We would um, share Bible stories with them. Do activities, crafts, and arts and crafts. You know, like this. And then I had the role of teaching them martial arts. You know, taekwondo. And it was all. Everyone was just volunteering their time. Because we wanted to give back to the community, you know, we wanted to help the kids, you know, go in the right direction. We were showing them love. We were showing them God's love, you know. And every Friday, we would all meet about four or five p.m. after school, you know, when the kids were out of school, and we would. By the time we got done cleaning up and, you know, doing all these things for the kids, it was like we would get home about nine, nine thirty, and I loved doing that. And I used to take all the different kids that came to our home, you know. They loved it too. They loved hanging out, and that's just something you know I want to do again. So our church is praying so that we could finally get to meet again and get a building where we could use to do that after-school program again because our city really needs it. So, and with all these hats that I'm juggling, Granny needs more than 24 hours in a day, and now that she's doing YouTube, you know, baby channel. It's still keeping her busy, right? I'm busy. I, I'm busy, and so I every you know, depending on where I am, I'm right here right now behind the camera, so I'm a YouTuber, right, baby YouTuber. But after I'm done, when I step out, I become a wife. When I see my husband, I'm a wife. When I see my kids, I'm a mother, caretaker, right, caregiver. And then when I go visit my mom. I'm her daughter, so depending on where we are in at that time, we're juggling these different hats, and you guys are all doing the same thing. You know, I'm not the only one. And I thank my family for supporting all these different hats that I'm trying to juggle, and it gets very hard sometimes. And uh, most of you are YouTubers, mukbangers, or ASMRists, and you are juggling many hats. And you know, behind the scenes, when we're communicating, we talk about these things: how we get stressed, and you know, each one of us, we're doing our best to put everything out there, our best foot forward, and we want to present the best thing. You know, we're trying, and that's on top of having our family, having our jobs, and so this is not an easy thing to do. And I'm glad I have a good supporting husband because he's my. Not DoorDash, but he's my room dash. Anytime I need something, I would text, and he would. And some of you have seen his hand come through and bring me things, right? And he would drive me around to wherever I needed to go. He's my chauffeur, chauffeur. And like today, he got me something. I was busy getting ready. I said, "Can you go get this for me?" He would just he won't he won't ask any questions. He, you know, he's supporting me, and I support him in whatever he does too. And. The topic that I want to talk about today is being overwhelmed with so many titles and so many jobs, multitasking. I'm a major multitasker, and it gets hard sometimes. And we could get overwhelmed and stressed. And as you can see, some people on YouTube, you know, they're breaking down because it's so stressful. And many times we want to please everybody, you know, on YouTube, but but we can't. So we have to ground ourselves and remember, when we first started this YouTube, we did it, you know, to have fun. I did it out of curiosity, and it got more interesting as I kept up uploading. And so, you know, my first video is like, ugh, what was I doing? But I just did it as a test video, and then one, two, three people started subscribing, and I'm like, wow, this is fun, and you know, that just kept me going. And you know, Granny can't please everybody because we all think differently. We all have different tastes. You know, everything is different. And as we see many people um, that are trying to please everybody, and these are the bigger channels that I'm talking about. I'm sure they get a lot of 
good comments, but I'm sure, you know, they get a lot of bad comments as well. And so many people are just breaking down right before our eyes, and we see that. And I'm not here to tease anybody. It's just heartbreaking. It's like, wow, this is what YouTube can do. This is what social media can do. Because you know why? Because we are trying to please the viewers. We are trying to get as many viewers as possible. Of course, you know, we would all like that. But that shouldn't be our main goal because if you're depending on your viewers for, you know, for your approvals or disapprovals, of course it's good to um, listen to the, the feedback and, you know, change things if, if you need to. But our main goal in doing YouTube should not be to please everybody because there is no way. And um, I'm trying, you know, I, I rely on God because I don't want my purpose in this YouTube channel to deviate to something that was not intended, you know, because I started this for a purpose and I don't want, I don't want the comments or, you know, opinions of other people, you know, ruining my purpose or my uh, intent in this, you know, in this YouTube channel. And the person, the person that I look to so that I don't fall into, you know, this trap that the enemy wants to, you know, bring us down to, is that I keep my eyes focused on Jesus. Because you know what? He had many hats. And he, he shows us by example. If you read the Bible, the New Testament, it starts with the birth of Jesus, and it talks about his whole life. His life, his birth, his life, and then his death and resurrection. So it's all in the New Testament. Jesus was born as a baby. So he had a baby. You know, he had a hat. He grew up and he became a teacher. He was teaching, you know, his disciples by example. And he was also teaching to the thousands of people that were following him. He was a teacher. He was, he is, he still is a friend. Can you think of the Son of God being our friend? But even though He is the Son of God way up there, He came down to befriend us. So we call Him a friend. He's the Son of God, right? Son of God. And He's also, He's not only a Son of God. He is a healer. He heals. And you can read all the stories about the many healings that he performed, you know, while he was teaching and preaching. He's a miracle worker. He performed miracles. He fed 5,000 people, 5,000 men. That's only men. And much more because there were many women and children as well. So he fed 5,000 with two fishes and five loaves of bread. He was a peacemaker. Wherever he went, he brought, you know, he, it was his job to bring peace. And it says in the Bible that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So the same Jesus that was a friend to the people back in those days, that was a teacher teaching them, you know, the Son of God. He was a healer, miracle worker, and he was the peacemaker. And he can give you the same peace and joy that he gave his followers back in those days. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the most important hat that Jesus has, had and still has to, to this day, is that He's our Lord and Savior. And Jesus said, no one can come to the Father except through me. So we need the name of Jesus. We need, you know, we need Jesus in our hearts to go where He is. And He's waiting. He's going to come down and get us. I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but it's true. One thing that I can tell you without a doubt, and I hope that you don't think this is some kind of crazy, you know, crazy thing that Granny is saying, but it's true. You know, and I want you guys to understand that before it's too late. He's our Lord and Savior, and His name is so powerful. If you have an illness, just have faith and say, you know, put your hand on your illness, sick, you know, sick part of your body. God, 
I'm struggling. Maybe with all this going on with your busy lives, you're stressed, you're distressed, and you're depressed. All these things, you know, in the name of Jesus, you can be healed. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of all my wrongdoings, all my sins. Please wash me with your blood. Cleanse me and come into my heart and give me that joy and peace and be the ruler, be the savior of my life, be the ruler of my life and lead me to the right path, Father. And He will do that for you. Because it's, it's in the Bible and Jesus is also a promise keeper. He will keep, you know, his promises so the the Bible the Bible oh I have my big Bible down here. it's like a big promise for us believers and all his promises are in the Bible so if you want to know what his promises are just read the Bible and believe every word because and you can test God we can test God God if I put my trust in you and I believe in you will you take care of me he will not just in one area, not just in your financial situation, not in your health, not just in your family, not just in your mental state. He will provide everything for you. Just try Him. Granny knows all my life I've trusted God and He's taken good care of me emotionally, physically, mentally, in every which way, spiritually, He has kept me. And He has answered all of my prayers. You know, my... Uh, you're going to say 100% of your prayers he answered? Yes. I can, I can confidently say that God has answered all of my prayers 100%. You know why? Because I don't pray. I don't pray, God, give me this. Please give me that. I don't do that. I, said, God, I say, God, I want to fulfill your will in my life. So whether you give me this certain thing right now or later or if it's a no, God, I want to follow your ways. So tell me if this is a no, if what I'm, try, what I'm tr about to do, if this is a no, then show me, God. And he would show me. And so if you depend on God and rely on God for everything in your life and just follow his ways and say, God, not my will, but your will in my life, then your prayers are answered 100%. It's true, and I'm, I'm living that. And I want to share with you. And Granny is so confident in this area, okay? She lacks in many other areas. But in this, in this area, you know, Granny knows that she can trust God. That no matter what mountains she has to climb, she knows that God will strengthen her. You know why? You know why Granny is so confident with all the flaws that she has? It's because she knows who she is in Christ. You know, if you accept Jesus into your hearts, you become a child of God. And, it, and I'll, I will show you uh, in Galatians chapter 3, 24, or 26, it says, For in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. But you have to have faith. You have to believe, and then you become a son or daughter in Christ, okay? And also, John 1, chapter 1, verse 12 says, But to, to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, the name Jesus, he gave the right to become children of God. So if you accept Jesus into your heart and you know rely on him to lead you in everything that you do, you are children of God. And that's a promise that's written in the Bible. God promises us. And what do parents do? They take care of their kids. So do you think, as a child of God, do you think God is not going to take care of this granny in whatever she does? I, I just go, God, I'm your child. Take care of me. And I just try to be an obedient child to God. And then He just provides everything for me. If I need something, He will give that. If I need wisdom, He will give me wisdom in that area. So try God. He will not disappoint you. The whole world may turn their backs on you. God will never turn His back on you. And I'm serious about that. So, look at all your titles. You know, Granny has many hats. She has many titles. But every title that Granny has, mother, daughter, what else? Employee, wife, you know, whatever it is. 
a friend. This is all a part of Granny. And I can have this confidence. And I can, you know, in certain areas, I struggle maybe at that certain time. But I, I leave it to God. God, I'm struggling with this friendship right now. We're having some turmoil. God, please show me. Give me your wisdom. Give me your love so I can love this friend and we can pass this mountain so that we can go back to where we were, a loving relationship, you know? And so every title that I have, I accept it. Friend. Daughter. Maybe, you know, as a mother, I'm struggling this month. I'm struggling as a mother. God, I give it to you. This is a part of me. As an employee, my job, I have to work on the lab, you know, computer. And sometimes, you know, we have to go through trainings and testing every year. It stresses me out. I'm like, God, please help me pass. And so far, I've been passing every year. So as an employee, I'm able to overcome all this because I trust God. God helped me through this. And He's helped me pass everything. So I give all the glory to Him. And one thing, if you want to learn from this channel or from Granny, you know, the, the Granny who has so many flaws and just, just doesn't know what she's doing. But, you know, it's bringing, you know, laughter to some people. My goal is accomplished. If I'm bringing you laughter, a chuckle, I'm doing my job because that's what I wanted to do on this channel. Bring some, you know, just laughter in this difficult world that we're living in. And if you can learn one thing from Granny, is that that through her many imperfections, she is perfectly fine. And through many of your struggles, you can be fine too. If you're struggling mentally or emotionally, physically, financially, you know, whatever it is, as you have many, you know, many roles, there are many parts to you. You know, you're a whole being because of all these many parts if you're struggling in your in your love relationship God I give this to you it'll be yours but you give it to God so he can make it better and then you accept he will give you the strength in that area where you need you know the most help okay because I am comfortable in myself and each of us if you know who you are in Christ, you will be comfortable in yourself too, in all of your different aspects of life. Okay? Trust God. You can trust Him. And that's all I have for you. So as you switch your hats throughout the day, remember, 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 you can trust God. When you need help, SOS God, call on Him. And you can always ask me. You can ask me to listen to you. I will listen. I won't have all the answers, but I can pray with you. I can pray for you and say, God, so-and-so needs help. Their views are... No, <laughs> it's not mainly about them. I'm sorry. It's about, you know, if you're having trouble juggling all this and YouTube is just so hard or your family life is so hard and you need someone to talk to who will guide you in the right direction, I will guide you to our Creator, you know. He has all the answers. He made you so He can do a little tweak here, a little tweak there and make you perf imperfectly perfect, okay. All right, so we'll go back to the normal eating. I like eating this too. Until tomorrow when I eat normal foods again. May God bless you. May Jesus' peace come upon you, okay? And laugh at life. Laugh at the struggles and count all your blessings, all your little children that are healthy. If you're going through stress in your job or stress in YouTube, maybe, maybe someone said a bad comment, don't let that affect you. That's just one or two people. But they don't, de they don't determine who you are. God determines who you are. And you are God's child. And what parent would neglect their child? And oh, I don't care, let you go down that depression road. He's not going to do that. Just go to your father, okay? 
and he will comfort you and he will make things better. He will kiss your boo-boo and he will make you feel so much better, okay? As a parent would do to his or her child. So until tomorrow, God bless you. Have a nice rest of today. I'm going to be cleaning up the big mess today. Have a good day. One more color. And I will exit out. Oh, aren't these so beautiful? God bless you. Peace. May Jesus' peace be upon you.